kings and queens, Sandra Finley, with your mortgage consultant. I'm coming on to give you my monthly real estate state of the market um, information. Now, today is November the 3rd, 2022. And as you guys have probably heard, there is another Fed rate hike coming. And um, what does that mean to you as a buyer? It means that it's likely the interest rates are going to keep on going up. Now, what is a Fed rate hike? That's when the federal government raises the interest rates on their notes and their loans and all that stuff, and it trickles down to the consumers. So it will affect your mortgage loan um, interest rate, your car loan interest rate, credit cards, anything that you are borrowing money for. Um, any loans that you have could be affected or any loans that you get in the future can be affected by the rate hike. Now, for me, I've seen rates fluctuate over the last couple weeks. Um, it's gone up, it's gone down, it's gone up, it's gone down, but it never goes down too much, probably about a quarter a point or a half a point. Um, the market is very active right now and very volatile. So um, one day the market could be good and um, the rates go down a little bit. And then the next day the market is back bad and the rates go back up. So for you as a buyer or um wanting to refinance your current mortgage loan. Um, you just have to stay vigilant and watch the market. If you want to buy a house, we say this all the time, marry the house, date the rate. Um, if you want to buy that house, go ahead and buy that house, but um, just keep an eye on the market. So when the rates start going back down, you can refinance to a lower rate. So don't let the rate scare you into not buying but it will affect your monthly payment. It will affect how much house you can afford because of course, if your monthly payment is higher then your debt to income ratio is gonna be higher. So reach out to your mortgage consultant or reach out to me, ask questions. You can always do an application and see where you are and decide whether that fits for your monthly um, budget. So you're going to pay rent anyway and you're not investing in anything with rent. So if you need a place to live, like all of us do, you need a roof over your head and you are going to be paying monthly, it's always, always, always better to be paying into your own property and not into someone else's property. So I've always, I've said that time after time again, it's still good to build generational wealth by your home if that's what you would like to do. So, um, yeah, the market is still active. We're still busy. People are still buying. I pre-approved three people yesterday. So, you know, it's all about where you are, your monthly budget. Are you ready to invest? Do you have the time, the money, and energy to put into it? If you need to move, why rent another property? So give me a call if you have any questions about interest rates and the Fed rate hike and all of those things that's going on, and I got you covered. You have my cell, 301-326-7555. You can comment below. You can inbox me on any of my social media channels. Please like and share and comment, guys. Bye-bye.